Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to convert an image to text using something called Optical Character Recognition, or OCR for short. And the way we're gonna do this is with none other than Google Docs, okay? So Google Docs has an OCR feature in it. Uh, it's not really known to a lot of people, I don't think, uh, but it allows you to take text from an image, whether that's like a paragraph of text or a spreadsheet or some, some listing of data and converting it um, from the image, extracting it out of the image and putting it into a Google Doc. And then you can do various things with this. Um, like in this tutorial that I'm gonna show you, we're gonna take the data that is in an image and put it into a graph, which is a really cool thing, uh, at least in my opinion. So let me walk you through this process here um, you're gonna need an image with text in it. Uh, I have this image here, uh, which is a very long, tall image with a lot of uh, dates and dollar amounts, okay? So this is, for context, this is from uh, my other channel, um, but uh, if you want some context, I'll link that. Uh, this is surveys that I take with the Google Opinion Rewards app, and it uh, gives me these dollar amounts and the dates associated with when I took the survey. So um, what we're gonna do, the goal is to extract this text and um, because it's not perfect, we will clean it up a little bit and then we'll try to plot this over time, these dollar amounts over time, just, just for fun. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. It's really easy to uh, convert this to text. All you have to do is upload your file to Google Docs, right click on it, open with, I'm sorry, upload your file to Google Drive, right click on it, open with Google Docs. And this will take, you know, depending on the size of your file, maybe 30 seconds to process. Uh, but when it does, um, you might be shocked at first because it's not exactly what you expect it. You get this, this low resolution image at the very top, but that's okay, we could just delete that. Um, and below that is where the actual text has been extracted and put into your document. So you'll notice that um, we have some anomalies, like the color of this font is yellow, and then we have this colon equal sign down here, and sometimes you see survey on the line with the date, and sometimes you see survey on its own line. I saw that up here, here, here you go. Uh, so like I said, let's 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 clean this up. Um, what, what I'm interested in personally is only the dates. Uh, I don't care about the stuff at the top, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And basically anytime, I, I wanna make this as consistent as possible. So anytime I see survey on a line of its own, I wanna get rid of that. Um, and then anytime I see one of those anomalies, I'll get rid of that as well. So uh, just going through here, being very meticulous about this. Um, like I said, it's not perfect, but uh, you'll, see, you'll see what we're getting at here in a second just by cleaning this up. Um, so again, anytime we see survey, on a line of its own, we'll get rid of that. And then if there's those other anomalies like this colon equal sign, we wanna get rid of that too. Okay, so that's looking good. One more down here. Is that the last one? Nope, we got a couple more. So bear with me here. Uh, this will be worth it, I promise. Okay, so that looks good. We'll just slip up to the top here. And now I, I don't care, I just want dates, right? I want dates and dollar amounts so I can get rid of all these other surveys uh, references here. So if I do a control F, that'll bring up the find window. And what I wanna do is basically find any references to survey and get rid of it. So let's just replace it with nothing. Okay, so that removes all those survey instances. And now what I wanna do is uh, make sure that the dollar amount is always on the second line, which it visually looks like that's the case. I think something that'll help actually before we do that is to highlight this and make this all the same color, font size, all that stuff. So let's pick a font size of 12. Um, we'll pick the same font, Arial, and we'll bold it, undo that, italicize it, undo that, underline it, just to make sure we remove all of that formatting. Um, and then the text color will make it black. And then, yeah, just again, visually looking at it, I think this format looks pretty good. But in order to like import it into a spreadsheet, we'd want these to be separated uh, by something, like a, a CSV file, comma, separate it, value file, except because we have a comma in our date, let's pick a different separator. Let's 
let's separate, let's move this dollar amount up into this the same line as the date and separate it by a, a semicolon. So we can do that pretty easily with control find again. Uh, we, what we wanna do is basically find a new line followed by a dollar sign and we'll have to do a regular expression for this. So we're gonna take that and replace it with a semicolon followed by a space followed by a dollar sign, right? So we're basically gonna bump the dollar amounts up and separate the date and the dollar amount with a semicolon. Hopefully that makes sense. We'll hit replace all, see if it works. And it does. Uh, sometimes we see a, a space, but I, I don't think that should be a problem. Um, this should be good enough to bring into Google Sheets, which is the next step. And, and by the way, this is all just extra, uh, uh, maybe something that you find interesting. At this point, you have the text uh, that you converted from your image. Uh, but feel, yeah, feel free to join along and um, see how this turns out. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to sheets.google.com and make a new blank sheet. And I'm going to paste that in here. Uh, and I'm going to do a special paste, actually. I'm going to do paste special, um, paste values only, and then I'm going to come here, split text to columns, and then the separator, they didn't detect that right, so we're going to pick the semicolon as a separator, and now that gives us one column of dates and one column of prices. And like I said at the beginning of this video, <clears throat> the goal uh, one of the goals could be to plot this, right? So let's add a header or just insert a row. <clears throat> we'll call this date. We'll call this uh, dollar or mm, yeah, amount. Okay. And just, just making it a little bit, format it uh, a little bit nice, making it, making it look pretty. Um, that looks good. And then let's create a, uh, a graph, right? So we can highlight these two columns, go to tools, or I'm sorry, insert uh, chart. And that's going to plot those over time. So you can see um, from September 2020 to March 2021, these are the surveys that I've taken. And this is the dollar amounts that they've earned me over time, which is really cool because as you remember, this originated, we're taking this from an image back here, converting it to text and then plotting it. So that's a super, super powerful thing that you can do just strictly within Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, all that stuff. So guys, I hope you found some value out of this. If you did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more videos like this from me in the future. And if you do, I'll see you in the next one.